Welcome back to Twisted on Roblox. Today we're going to be chasing with the Dow Fix again. Having a good little time in there. But we're going to be putting a little bit of a twist on it today. And we're actually going to be attempting to deploy probes today. Should be interesting with this thing not having a crazy amount of acceleration out of the hole. Or really at all. Until you get mm, close to the top speed of this thing. Then it really starts to ramp up. But either way, I thought I'd add that challenge into it. Because, I mean, there's two probes on this vehicle. I have them. And I was going to say, it ain't driving. But why not use them? They're there. Give it a try. It's going to be risky because, I mean, you saw it right there. <laughs> it's pretty bad at taking off. But, I mean, I guess a good thing is it does have a 120 mile per hour threshold on the wind resistance. That could be a good thing. Where? What? Oh, okay, so that's coming down this way. I think we might want to position right there. I know where the hook is, so I'm going to go ahead and change the velocity. Uh, yeah, pretty much straight east. Hello, bud. Um, that ain't looking like a crazy photograph at all. But, all of that's pretty good, except for the PWAP. That means just a lot of rain wrap. Eh. That's okay. I can deal with that. I've dealt with it before. But I reckon let's go ahead and head back up here and position in our target zone. Yeah. We got a little bit of something starting to pop up here. It's uh, kind of in between the red and the green. About right there, it's quite easy to notice. And seems to be going across here. I think it's probably... I think I may want to jump over to that one. Hey, he's here. Oh boy. That is a massive rotation. You know what? He disappeared. Wow. <laughs> Where did he go? Oh, he's way up there, I think. I think I may go this way and what do I do it's so close to this road I know what I'll do if this thing will start moving we're gonna jump over a road oh ground circulation we're gonna jump over yonder Uh, it's not really touchdown, it's more just a ground circulation, it's more of a floater right now. But I have a feeling it could possibly develop into something big. Hmm. going this way nice I think what we can do is pull up in there deploy probe and pull up and deploy the Dow part of this but again we're going to have to wait for it to get pretty close I don't know where this thing is going anymore it kind of looks like it shifted up this way there's a guy in the middle of a field Okay, and now I can no longer see the tornado, yeah! 
Really hard to see where this thing is going. Oh, it's kind of moving up that way. I got an idea. Let's uh, scoot up a little bit. We're going to deploy probes right there and go into the right seat like a professional that I am. And then we're going to get out of here. And preferably fast. Go, 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 go. one to get to. You know what? This one is starting to get weaker and weaker. We're going to do that and we're going to start doing that. And I can start driving like that. You learn a thing or two when you start using this thing or things like these more and more often. Something like manual deployment is an awesome thing. Because if uh, manual deployment wasn't a thing, uh, this would be taking a lot longer to deploy. Okay, pros. 700 each, and there's two of them. Wherever they may be. What in the world came through this area? Whatever it was, it wiped it out. And I wasn't here for it. Right before I joined. <laughs> so 
so this one has a sort of trajectory of down in here. So I'm thinking I may just go down here, turn around, and uh, be ready to do probes. Oh god. Stay away. Nah, I'll go in. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta send it, bud. <laughs> and he agrees. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get turned around and figure out where the. Oh, it's going up that way. This thing turned a big time. That's very concerning. It pretty much went straight north. Huh. Well, that was still going on. What is it? Oh, that's great. <laughs> of course it is. to do about this one I think I'm just gonna probably play a safe on this one and just deploy out here could go for an orange wait I always say that that's probably getting pretty old by now and there's something else my gosh it's going crazy oh it is going up too yeah I don't think I'll be getting probes on that one unless it goes up to here but right now it just seems to be staying in the same spot. It's not really moving much. Literally not moving much, my god. And the little signs I do get of it moving is kind of just moving up here. scanning and well keep on scanning that should work 90 kind of now seeming like it's up through here heck it maybe it's just following the road that could be a possibility That one's still going, my gosh. Green, oh. Hmm. I want to go to that. We have 
a lot of storms on the ground. And we have a Funkly thing, a Welchel hitter, and possibly Hazleton. Very possibly. What do we got here? No data. You can see the two over there. <laughs> you know what? I'm getting away from this one. I'm going to those two. Too much in them. They were basically green when I got up here. So not much left of them. But I made a little bit. Took a while, but yeah. Anything else going on? Nope, that one's pretty much done. These two are inside each other. Nothing else really going on. Well, I'd say that was a pretty good chase day. Got a lot of action in the Dow. Got a little bit with the Tip 2 here, and just all great. Getting as much use out of this high risk event that's going on as I possibly can. And I would urge y'all to, whenever there's a high risk event going on, to do the same. Because I think it's over by the time you're seeing this episode. I think it ended on Monday. I think that'd be yesterday. Oh, there it is. We're back in. Woo! Going through. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. And see you all in the next chase.